Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what is Cascade and Merge and how it works with demonstration. So let's start today's session. So Cascade and Merge is one of the functionality which is available in the Informatica MDM. In order to see that, you, you have to go to the base object. Inside base object, you can select Match and Merge Setup and go to the merge setting tab. For example, in this MDM hub, we can see BO part is the base object table. We have chosen the match and merge setup section of that. And at the merge setting tab, you can see the below section called as a unmerge child when parent unmerges. It means that whenever we configure a child for the parent, and if you enable that child for unmerging when the parent record get unmerged, that that configuration we can make inside this configuration section. Now, how the data will flow? That we are going to see in the spreadsheet format. So we have created one spreadsheet which contains some sample data. So if you see at the left hand side, we have the base object, which has the row ID object and the customer name field. That means we have loaded the records in the base object through stage table and means we use the landing table, stage table and base object table to populate the base objects. So row ID 1001 is Mike Paul as a customer name. For record 2 that is row ID object 1002 is a Michael Paul and 1003 is Mike P as a customer name. The corresponding Extract will be created when we loaded the data. The, here is the PQ source object, then the source name from which the record is get loaded, that is CRM, cells and HCM, respectively for the row ID object 1001, 1003, 002 and 1003. So this is extract for the customer base object. Then we have created a address table. So which is the child table to the customer base object. In this address table, we also means it has also gone through the stage and the load job and it loaded the three records for the address with row ID object 2001, 2002 and 2003. And having the address detail values such as 101 Main Street, New York, 102 Street, California, 103 Los Angeles. And the corresponding or address is also linked with the party. Party nothing but it is a row ID object in the base object. So if you see the row ID object and the party ID are matching accordingly. The corresponding XREP will be created. So in the XREP also we can see row ID object is nothing but row ID object of address table and party ID is nothing but the party ID of the address table. Uh, Party, a party ID nothing but the row ID object of the customer table. Additional to that, we have also the source from which that record is getting loaded in the system. Also the address detail which is loaded in the base object. And along with that, we have the shadow foreign key for the party ID. If you see the shadow party ID nothing but it is pointing to the PQ source object of the customer table. So these are the details about the data. Now let's see suppose we have the first condition when the parent means party or the customer record with ID suppose uh, 1001 is merges into 1002. What will happen? So in order to see that means that means record 1001 is merging with 1002. So how the data will look like in the party or in the customer table and how it will update in the address table we are going to see. <clears throat> so whenever the record 1001 is merges with record 1002 that means winner record is 1002 and that nothing but the Michael Paul. At the excerpt level <coughs> this two record will be merged and the values for the raw ID object is nothing but the winner record that is 1002. And you will find the corresponding source name and the customer name. However, the winner will be 1002. For the address, what will happen for the first two records? 
So actually I had divided this merging process into step step A uh, and step B. In the step A we are going to see what will be the impact on the party ID and in the step step B we are going to see what will the impact on the row ID object of the address. As we are saying the winner record will be 1002 so that means it will the MDM will update the party ID of the address with a 1002 for these two addresses. In the X-ray, it will also update that party ID with a 1002. The other remaining data such as source, address detail and the source party ID will remain same. Now what will happen with this row ID object that we are going to see. So, as we said, the, the customer is merged or the customer 1001 is merged with the customer 1002. The winner record is 1002. We have the same x rep as the previous section. Now we are going to see what will happen with the row ID object. At the, at the address table level, the address 1, 1001 and 1002 will be merged if we have the merge based on the party ID. So it will there will be only one record, so it will be chosen one of it based on the trust setting, and it will be the winner. So we can see there is only one record for the address BO with a 2002 and the party ID is 2002. At the XREP level, the raw ID object will be updated for the, the corresponding address detail. So as we are merging this, the raw ID object will be also merged and the party ID accordingly we have same as a 1002 because it is winning record now we saw that we merge the ad customer we also merge the address based on the party ID and these are the changes happen at the except level as well as at the base object level now as in we are going to merge the record 1003 into 1002 so what will happen in that case? So the final record winner will be 1002, that is Michael Paul. In the XRF level, there will be three record, one for each source system. However, the row ID object will be the same for this all three record, that is 1002. At the address level, what will happen? The address, the party ID for the address 2003 will be updated with the 1002. That is the party ID chain. At the XREP level also, party ID will accordingly update with value 1002. The rest of the attributes will remain same. Now, we are going to see what will happen on these row objects, which are present for the address XREP, also at the address view. Now, as we have the match and merge on the address table also, the, the customer view will remain same, customer XREP will remain same as 3.a step but in the b step you are going to see what is impact on the row ID object the row ID object 3 2003 will merge into 2002 because we are going to merge on the based on the party id and this server shift will be based on the what is our trust setting at the xrep level the row id object of the address xrep will be updated from 2003 to 2002. So that means all these records will have the same row ID object. Now the interesting fact will come when we unmerge the record. So if you see in our MDM hub screen, if you configure the cascade unmerge, that means whenever a parent unmerges, the child will be also unmerges. So how we are going to see in the data? So this is what we prepare the data. That means we merge the record we loaded the record and we merge the record now the next step is to test how unmerge will work in order to test what we have done we are going to just take out the the customer with row id object 2002 and the pq source is 1001001 so if you see at the top we have the three pq source for one for each record 1001 triple zero one two and three so once we merge this, so one triple zero one is 
corresponding to rho id object 1001 and the winner is 1002 so what we are trying to do once we merge the record we are going to take we want to take out this 1001 record from this group so that is what we are trying to do so let me show you so what will happen whenever we do the unmerge on the customer level the mic pole that is 1001 will be taken out of from that group and the there will be two groups created in the xrep table one will be with one triple zero one row id object that is mic pole and the other group with the row id object 1002 which is having the pq source as a 1002 and 3 now when, whenever we unmerge the record from the customer base object what will happen to the address so address level will remain same so again i divided this step into two what is the impact on the customer and what is the impact on the base object uh, base object of the address so so we have just said the customer will be unmerged and now we will see what will happen to the address for the address whenever we unmerge the customer the corresponding x corresponding address which was pointing earlier to the address 2001 so if you see the address 1001 or 2001 is pointing to the party id 1001 so that means the address from that group will be also taken out from the rest of the group so at the address level you will find two record with the raw object 2001 and raw object 2002 with the address detail as 101 Main Street, New York and 102 Street, California. The party ID will be also accordingly updated as per the winner parties in the customer. Now at the base object table of the uh, except table of the address table, what, what will be the changes? So if you see the record which is be taken out for the party 1001 is from its own group with the address 2001. And the rest of the address group will remain in the system so this is called as a cascade unmerge so whenever we enable the cascade unmerge when it, and whenever we have the merge on the customer also and merge on the address table also and if you unmerge the customer and if you enable the cascade unmerge on the parent then the child record will be also get unmerged accordingly we don't have to do any additional steps to that it is the informatica mdm hubs internal process will take care of that so these are the details about the cascade and merge and how it can be achieved in the mdm hub i hope this small tutorial will definitely going to help you to understand the very minor or very small but very important things in the mdm hub thank you for watching my video and if you like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel and have a nice time